Friends, we enter into this place for a moment of quiet, a moment of inspiration, a moment of insight. Let us give ourselves over to God's sensitive stewardship. And as we listen to the scripture for our first time, I invite you to be aware of any word or phrase that calls out to your attention. If you wish, you can share that word or phrase in the comment section preceded by the number one. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. As we listen to the scripture for a second time, I invite any awareness of a prayer or a call to action that arises from your listening. If you wish to share that prayer or call to action, please write it in the comments section, preceded by the number two. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. As we listen to the scripture for a third and final time, I invite us to simply rest in silence and allow the Holy Spirit to, rest, to speak into that silence. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Friends, let us pray together as Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Christ is with us here. So let us open up our hearts to God and to one another, giving thanks to the Spirit with joy. We give you thanks, Holy God, that in the beginning your Spirit moved over the waters as your voice called forth light and life. We praise you for Jesus who showed us your face and who witnessed to your justice and to your compassion. We remember how on the eve of death and yet living resurrection, Jesus gathered with his disciples, taking bread and cup, he gave you thanks, shared them and said, eat and drink and remember me. 
May your spirit move upon us and within us and around us anew, that as we share this bread and this cup, we might be fed to continue your creating, liberating, and sustaining work in the world. Amen. This is the bread of life and the cup of blessing. Thanks be to God. Beloved of God, as our gathering has been blessed, so may our sending be blessed also. Let us go forth in peace.